Hey everybody, I'm attorney Mike Content. A little while back, we did a video about when the police get to use drug sniffing dogs to sniff you, bags, your house, your car, all those things. Today I want to tell you a little bit of a case in which involved a drug sniffing dog with one of our clients in which we discovered a problem that likely exists in many of the drug sniffing dogs that are still in use today. Now these dogs, they go through this intense training program. That's why the courts consider it reliable when a dog detects drugs in a particular object, like a bag or a car. Um, and so this intense training program, they are taught to sniff and detect many different types of drugs. Now that is gonna include things, obvious things like cocaine and heroin, LSD, methamphetamine. But what we discovered in this case is that uh, many of these dogs are still being trained to detect marijuana. Now, in Massachusetts, as, as most everyone knows, um, it was decriminalized in 2008. It was formally legalized by, by a ballot initiative in 2016. So it's no longer an illegal drug. So you take a dog who's gone through all this training to detect all these different drugs, including marijuana. Now, the problem becomes when the dog alerts. Now, the dogs don't have a different alert for the different types of drugs that they're trained on. So for instance, they don't raise their left paw when it's marijuana and their right paw when it's cocaine. It's simply, they have one alert. In most cases, it's the dog will go to the area, sniff, and then sit down if they smelled something that they were trained to smell. Now the problem becomes is, we don't know what they're smelling. We don't know if it's cocaine in the bag or some other illegal substance, or if it's a legal substance like marijuana, if that's what the dog was trained on. So that becomes a problem for the police when they try to use the smell, the dog's alert to the particular bag in trying to get a search warrant or when they decide they're gonna search further based upon the dog's alerting. Because marijuana is not illegal, the dog alerting to it really gives them no basis and we don't know if it was marijuana or something else. So that provides um, a great defense to these types of cases. So it's really important if you've been stopped for drugs um, that you, and it, it involved a drug sniffing dog in, in finding those drugs, that your lawyer definitely asked for what they call the CV, uh, the resume, the curriculum vitae of the dog. Okay, they, the dogs actually have them. It talks about their training, it talks about what they've actually been trained on, the, the different drugs they've been trained on. If they've been trained on marijuana, that provides a great defense to be used in court to show why that search, the further search was not justified even if what was actually, say, in your bag was cocaine and not marijuana, if the dog was trained on marijuana, then that provides an opening for you to say to the court, we don't know what the dog was alerting to. It could have been that not legal, that, that, that I'm sorry, that legal drug uh, of marijuana and not the cocaine and didn't really give the police any real further information, any good information by which they got their search warrant or got other permission to search the bag. So if you have any questions about this, about the use of drug sniffing dogs, uh, what their limitations are or anything like that, please feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to speak with you about it. Thanks and have a great day.